Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for worshiping with us here at Coronado Community United Methodist Church. This is an exciting time for us in the life of our church because we are beginning our reopening process. We know that there are those of you who feel safer at home by worshiping online, and we're so grateful that you are doing what is safe for you, what is best for you. Uh, we don't want you to feel any pressure to attend in person. And those, there are those of you who are comfortable attending in person, and we're grateful and excited to be able to welcome you into the sanctuary and worship together. We know this process is going to be a little difficult, and it's going to take some time to get used to it. Uh, so we are just asking for your prayers and your understanding as we figure out what this looks like together. To center us to, today uh, in a time of prayer and really for this season as we are embarking on something new, I wanted to offer um, a prayer through from the Cory Mila community. Um, I've uh, read this, read from this book before in some prayers. Um, this is a uh, Irish group of travelers, pilgrims on faith journeys, of communities, of people who feel lost, people who are seeking hope, people who have come together to form community. And uh, this is their daily prayer book. And so I want to read today their morning prayer. Uh, it may not be morning when you're watching this, but the prayer still counts. Um, but I want this prayer to be for us, uh, not just for the morning, but for this season, as we are journeying into new territory here at Coronado, let this prayer guide us, center us, root us, and also send us. Hear these words. Let us pray. We begin our day alone, honoring this life with all its potentials and possibilities. We begin our day with trust, knowing we are created for loving encounter. We begin our day with hope, knowing the day can hold love, kindness, forgiveness, and justice. We recall our day yesterday. May we learn, may we love, may we live on. We make room for the unexpected. May we find wisdom and life in the unexpected. Help us to embrace possibility, respond graciously to disappointment, and hold tenderly those we encounter. Help us be fully present to the day. We pray for all whose day will be difficult. May we support, may we listen, may we change. We resolve to live life in its fullness. We will welcome the people who will be part of this day we will greet God in ordinary and hidden moments. We will live the life we are living. May we find the wisdom we need. God be with us. May we hear the needs of those we meet. God be with us. May we love the life that we are given. God be with us. Amen. This prayer is powerful, and it would be great to start every day with this prayer, but where it says as we begin our day or as we think about our day, let us think about this season, this time, this journey, and may we live the life we are living May we embrace what happens in the unexpected. May we find God in those we meet and encounter. May we change.
May we be transformed today and every day by the loving grace of God. Friends, that is my prayer for us, that we would continue to love the life that we are given. Thanks be to God. Go in peace.